Hey guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to be talking about how the Lord enters us. The Lord is going to do amazing works through you. So I have three scriptures that are talking about this very subject. The first one I'd like to share with you guys is a scripture that I shared with you yesterday. John 6 verse 31. Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus has been the one filling us and keeping us alive like I talked about yesterday and God is the one who powers us now when we are on the road by ourselves when our lives are a complete wreck and Jesus finds us and takes us out of the pit and shows himself to us and we ask him to enter into our lives he does and when Jesus enters into our lives miraculous things start to happen our lives start to change things go better but there's still attacks and troubles in our life but Jesus the same God that helped Moses and the Israelites get out of Egypt and fed him in the desert and kept him alive all those years that's the same God that is keeping us alive and keeping us fed spiritually and physically Jesus will always be there for us. Don't ever think for one second that God has not got your back, because He does. And He is just waiting to reveal Himself to you in a mighty way, ways you can never even imagine. When we're with Jesus, we're forever changed. We're not the same anymore. Just remember that. All right, second scripture. John 8, verse 31. Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you really are my disciples. Those who obey the Lord and those who follow him, no matter what, no matter how big the challenge, and no matter how much the enemy punches you and shoots fiery darts at you, no matter how many times he attacks you, if you hold true to his teaching and remain with Jesus until the end, you will be rewarded and he will come back for you. He will strengthen you in mighty ways and make it so the devil's attacks seem like tiny cornflakes. You'll be so filled with the Holy Spirit that no devil and no demon can penetrate your protection and your strength. God will empower you and when he enters inside of you he gives you information that you didn't have before and he lets you know things that are of the spirit and not of the world. You'll want to get closer to him and you'll want to receive more of his amazing word. Jesus is amazing and he is going to do amazing things through you so just remember that Jesus is the Lord and that through him nothing is impossible people can be reached and people will be brought to Jesus you will snatch people out of the gates of hell and bring them to the gates of heaven but only with Jesus because Jesus is the only way. He says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And Jesus is going to do the miraculous. And he's going to do the prophetic. He's going to do the spiritual like he has in the past with the disciples. There, there's, more than 12, there's more than 12 disciples. As long as we... As there are more believers coming, disciples will be made. He says to be fishers of men, to make more disciples. Now there will be people that will backslide and, and turn away from the Lord. But those who remain true to his teaching and obey him no matter what, and don't sin, now we'll still sin, but we need to come back to Jesus. But those who come back to Jesus and those who remain in him, they will remain his disciples just remember that you're not through yet and 
the devil calls you unworthy. I mean, we are unworthy, but Jesus calls us worthy. How amazing is that? And Jesus is going to show us many things. All right, third and final scripture, John 9, verse 31. We know that God does not listen to the sinners, but he listens to the godly person who does his will. Jesus will do anything for the godly person, and he will be there for you no matter what, no matter how many times the enemy takes you to a place of sorrow, or he he tries to manipulate you into thinking that you're not going to heaven. And he tries to make you believe that Jesus has changed. But guys, I got news for you. Jesus has not changed. He's still the same loving Father. And he always will be. Isn't, isn't he amazing? He is, he's just indescribable. And he is, he's been there for me countless times. And he will be there for you no matter what. If you just ask him to come into your life right now, he will. He'll enter in you and he will never leave. You know, he never leaves the person who asks him to stay. Once Jesus makes his home in you, he stays. And he'll always be there with you until the very end. And even after that. It's just amazing. The godly person will always be mocked and persecuted, but God loves the godly person. So even though the world is against you, God is with you. Just remember that God's love outwits the, any other love. Love is the most powerful weapon, and God's love, God's love is the most powerful weapon. That's what saved all of us on Mount Calvary. If Jesus didn't have that great love, he would have stayed in heaven. But he came down in the form of a human, in the form of a man, suffered through earthly things, felt our pain, so that we could be reconciled to God the Father and so that we could spend eternity with him in heaven. The whole world is going to hell, and it still is. But Jesus was there for us, and he still is there for us. He's not gone anywhere. He's still in us. So just remember that. Accept those who haven't accepted Jesus, accept him now. Because once you do, it will be life-changing, and you'll never want him to leave. You'll never want to stop doing godly things or investing in the kingdom of God. Just remember that. Alright, so guys, I hope you got something out of this. I'm going to close in prayer. I thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, Lord. Please, Lord, enter into them, Lord, and please, Lord, let them know that you are there, even though the devil tries to get them to believe that you got out of them a long time ago. But you're still in there, even though the world persecutes them, Lord. And even though the enemy will always be after those who are truly and desperately in love with you, Lord, right now strengthen them and let them know that you've entered them and that you're staying. Once you've stayed, you've stayed. Please, Lord, enter into many people and let, let them experience the glory and the power of the Holy Spirit. Please, Lord, let them know what you did for, on Mount Calvary for us. You, your incredible love saved all of us from sin, cleansed us, and saved us from hell. I praise you in your name. You, you sent us on our way to heaven in the kingdom of light. Please be with us, Lord. I praise you in your name. I love you, Lord. Please forgive me my sins, Lord. Please forgive me, Lord. I'm not perfect. I'm plain and simple, but you are not. I praise you in your name. Amen. All right, so guys, remember, I'm just plain and simple. But he is not. He's beautiful and he's lovely and he is glorious. And he's always going to stay in you. Once he's entered into you, he's made his home. No getting out. Just remember that. God loves you. His perfect love is stronger than any strength or force. 
Just remember that. All right, so guys, when times get tough, praise God in the storm. There will be storms in your life, but God's love is stronger than the storms, and he will calm the storms, and those storms may be painful, but God's love is going to get you through it. Just remember that. All right, so I love you guys. God bless. One more thing. Uh, on, the, on January 13th, Pastor Mark Brown will be coming to 412 and the Sunday after that to preach the awesome Word of God. So I hope to see you guys there. It's Life Church in Eustis, US 441 Drive. Um, the uh, the number is 351, and it's on Plaza Drive in, Eus in Eustis, across from Denny's. So hope to see you guys there. All right, and uh, please check out my videos coming on Twitter. I got a new Twitter account. Hope to see you guys there. See you guys. Love you. God bless. Happy New Year. 2018 has got some great opportunities.